Yeah, we went for um almost half an hour last time. So if my mental arithmetic is correct, 40, 50, 60, 70, then we do indeed have 30 minutes left. Just adding 10 to the counter there. So we're going to have this... Uh, We're going to have this counter going for 30 minutes now. And then at the end, I guess it's time I give my judgement as to whether or not the game was worth the pound I spent. But I think I already know my answer to this one. Off we go. Right. We need to acquire... um. Um... For me, Ash, we need to uh, acquire some health kits and some health packs. Brilliant. Um, we didn't actually use that many health kits in the last level, which is a benefit to us. What's this? Produces a low grade energy field that protects the user from physical damage. Uh, motion sensor reveals physical location of enemy soldiers in visible area. Faint triangle reveals above enemy soldiers to reveal their positions. Flip the ammo. Yeah, let's buy one. Um, so yeah, I could buy one of those. Which sounds pretty useful, but also sounds a bit... Eh. It's like, I don't really need to know where the enemies are, because the enemies always just like shout and go, There they are! Or, they're attacking! When they're the people who begin attacking anyway. Um, whereas here I get four um, low-grade um, energy fields that can protect me for, for a certain amount of time. So I'm going to buy one of those and see what they're like. Um, okay. Shall we begin? We'll begin. Level three. I wonder how many levels there are. Chances are this level will run to the half hour. So then what There's I'll do order. is just ask you lot in the comments if um, you want to see the rest of the game, you know. Or whether the half hour left over now is enough. We. My adrenaline's going now. Wait a minute, what's this? I wonder if they got the intruders. They're still alive, we should make sure the job is done right. Someone's here. What the hell? Everybody, let's get in there. Were two of my teammates outside of the level? Also, that cutscene dragged on a bit. Oh, hi. Don't mind me. You can't get past there! I know this game's from 2000, but really... I expect better collision system than that. But then again, you play a game like Lollipop Chainsaw in this generation and there's invisible walls everywhere. You know. You're never free of them. I don't know, it just looks like you could get through that area. Oh, I thought for a minute there were messed up triangles on the geometry, but no, that's just the floor texture, which is cool. Um, in which case, if it's deliberate, it's fine. If it were a graphical glitch, not so fine. Right, let's keep going. Um, door. Nobody here? Like a library. A library? I don't see any bloody books in here. You obviously don't understand the definition of library. God bless you. Um I'll stay here and watch for stragglers. 
Let's bait and fry them. Be cautious every step of the way. Follow my lead. I think the black bars at the bottom of every video feed are actually the result of the character getting stuck in the ground during the cutscene bit. So that's the only explanation I can think of. I remember what this game reminds me of now, um, level design wise. It's reminding me of the research laboratory, the um, first level of um, Mac-M for the Dreamcast and PlayStation 2. That's what it reminds me of, actually. Uh, I don't like that there's just these wide areas and no enemies. No, you expect at least some... Oh, energy pack. I bought fucking energy packs now, though. This is like a waste. Oh, I can carry more than five. Oh, that's cool. Wow, I got 12 medkits. I have nothing to worry about. Except for, you know, still getting insta-killed by stuff, I guess. So, this wasn't the way to go? Okay. Go right this way, then. Is that the staircase I went up? Then this door? No, but I see a lock by it. Door lock is functional. So where do I go? Let's stay back here. So yeah, what I'm looking for must be up here. Sorry to confuse you, Maya. Going this way. Maya, Maya. You're Maya, number one. Customer. <laughs> I already looked around here. That's where I found the health kit. Um... And why would the switch for the door be on, like, some random computer anyway? Think about it. Not all of them have monitors. What, do they have the computer feeds drop directly in their minds? That's not a switch. Um, okay, I'm confused. Map? Nope, still confused. Oh, I can go through here? Oh, so you offer me all that area and it's wrong. Okay, come on, Maya. Yeah, this really does remind me of Half-Life. Which is cool, I'm thinking of playing through Half-Life soon. And actually, you know I've never beaten Half-Life. So I'm thinking, you know, if I recorded it for my channel, I'd be, um... I'd be obliged to complete it, you know. Ten millimeter saw. Okay, cool. Um, is that the lift I took down? Yeah. Okay. Lap two. No wait, no, it's not. That's the lift I took down. Come on, my. Come on, Maya. Maya. Uh, she'll catch up. She'll glitch through the floor or something soon and catch me up. Probably. Okay, this was the wrong way to go too? Oh, now I'm confused. No, I haven't been this confused about level layout since I played Mass Effect. I got stuck in these underground sewers for ages, trying to work out where to go, and there was just some crazy guy who claimed he was, like, being controlled or something, and, like, he didn't know anything. And there were, there were a bunch of these rabid dog things trying to eat me. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't go much on Mass Effect. I know why other people enjoy it, though. I understand why it's popular. But I just didn't get on with it. That's another game I need to find the time to play, you know, get into properly. See, the thing is, it's not the kind of game I'd be able to let's play, because it's not the kind of game I'm familiar with. You know, I'm not very good at games like that. I'm good at games like this. Games that are actually, you know, about the combat, and not about the talking to people. Get rid of them right now! 
and also games that have an easy mode. Um, that does help. I mean, Mass Effect does have an easy mode, but um, I don't know. Um, I've heard that the only um, the only Mass Effect really with an easy mode is apparently um, using um, what is it, biotics or organics in Mass Effect 2, because apparently they're overpowered. That's what I heard, anyway. Like I said, not big on the series. Oh yeah, I remember that lock. We'll reconvene up ahead. Yeah, let's do that. We now there's some enemies down here for old times' sake. Ah, oh, come on! They can't even be bothered to spawn any enemies for me. Oh, how disappointing! Oh, there we go. There's some enemies for for Judd and and Melinda. Watch out! Here comes a couple of thugs. They just keep on coming. Are you good? Backup's on the way. Is this like um, Maya, girl? Is she French? Because she's got that slight tinge to her accent. I'm not very good at accents. Bear with me. But, um... She sounds a bit French. Um, this way? No, this way. I haven't been through here yet. Dum -dum 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 -dum. This is sort of like Metal Gear Solid, just um, not as solid. <laughs> yeah, not as well made. Basically, it's what I'm trying to say. Not as sturdy. So which way do I go? I'm confused now. I've managed to confuse it. This way, right? And there's like a room, and there's people in it, and and they're my friends, and yeah. Is anyone hurt? We're fighting in cluster formation. Maya, cover me. I'm making a move. Huh. No, I'm actually really impressed with this game. It's better than I thought it would be, looking at the back, you know, I thought like, there's no way this will hold my, whoa, hold my attention for long, but it did. I'm actually impressed with it. And if the half hour doesn't cover this mission, I'll play the rest of this mission to the end. Because, you know, I'm actually quite impressed with it. Where did all these enemies come from? I was up here a few moments ago and there weren't any enemies. You remember, we were specifically there. I made a point of how empty it was, and how there were no enemies, and now there are. I'm really good at level design. I should be a level designer. Yeah, th this is the bit where they get around the corner and they see the giant dolphin. Um. Oh, too bad. Oh, You'll never be in the X-Squad. You're, you're more like X, your squad, you know, EX. You're like EX-Squad, get it? You're like the Ghost Squad, because you're dead. Um, Ghost Squad's the name of a of a Sega Sega franchise. Um, in case you didn't know, but you probably did know. Um, there's no enemies around here. Okay, let's keep going. Mm. Over here. Oh, Bang! Whoa! Uh, team, you go ahead and attack. Want to make my move? Let him have it. Understood. Affirmative. Yeah. No holds barred. Team, I want you to cover me. Yeah. That's how we do it, team. I'm actually quite proud of my team now. They've stopped shooting the ground, you know, <laughs> and started actually shooting who I'm asking them to. You know, this is, this is pretty good. I mean, for how much I paid, like, it would have to be really bad for me to think I'd wasted money, but, you know, this is it's fairly decent. I'm shocked. And it's given me an excuse to play a game I, that would have otherwise just gone on the shelf, you know, like, unplayed. So you know what? I'm glad I did.
I actually like that all the bosses so far, like, you know how, like, in Metal Gear Solid, you get up to a boss and it's like, it's, it's, it's Psycho Blood Raven, Bongiorno the Fourth, and they've got a name, they've got a backstory, they've got, um, a reason why they're collecting nuclear weapons, you know, all, all that stuff. There's, like, a reason behind them. Did I manage to, yeah, go all the way around the wrong way, super. Um, you know, there's a reason for who they are and what they do and why. Um, in this game, it's just like the enemy shows up, they've just got some random German accent. They're just some random Nazi-inspired enemy. That's it. That's all they are. Um, that's the one thing I'd probably change about this game. That and these awful controls. Although I'm really starting to get used to them now. I think it's because I've spent so long playing with a... Ah! There we go. Playing with an Xbox 360 controller that um, aligned sticks is now really confusing. This kind of Always so happens. It's like, stomach. I played Beautiful Cat Murray to pieces online. Whoa! That was a mistake. Not playing um, Beautiful Cat Murray online. Um, no, that's like the best... Beautiful, the Beautiful Cat Murray is the best Cat Murray game I've ever played, apart from, you know, the PSP one, which is superior. Uh, I say superior, it's actually... Um, it's a Mary Poppins. You know, it's practically perfect in every way. Um, but that's besides the point. Um, after you played um, Xbox 360 Katamari and you move on to um, dual analog sticks, you know, like for um, the PS3 Katamari game, it's just it just feels so uh, so. What's the word? Jaunty, robotic. I've got a beef with the architect. What? Did he say something about the architect? <laughs> That's funny, because the, the game is pointing out how bad the level design is. Unfortunately, it doesn't fix the fact the level design is still terrible. Now who's shooting at me? Is it you? Well, you're dead. So are you. Uh, sucks to be the bad guy roundabout now. Doesn't it? Sucks to be a bad guy right now. Because they're just getting mauled. I can't actually say they're getting mauled because, um, you know, um, the mauler is a perfect dark weapon. It's not in this game. I used to own a multiplayer with the mauler. It's like the little shotgun thing, isn't it? Yeah, that, that thing was overpowered to shit. If you got up right close to someone, just bang, one shot from the mauler, they were dead. Unless they had armor, then it was like three shots. Just die! Jeez Louise. Ugh. Huh. Need to get back up. Need to get back up. Uh. This way. No. Shit. Um. This way. No. Nope. Where I came in. I think Mayor may be dead. I actually think Maya may be dead. Um, because she's flashing red. Uh, that's not good. Um, it sucks that she's dead. Just die! Ugh. Oh! There's one of my teammates. Whoa! Ambush! No, Mayor's alive. Oh, the other two are just like somewhere else. Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it! Jesus. Um, where's my lift? Don't know where to go. It's this room, isn't it? You press the. No. Eventually I'll work out with that. Just... Hi! Using up my... My ammunition! Okay, we'll try the next elevator room. Is the map, like, completely, um... Shit. Oh, it moves as I'm moving, so I have to stand still 
and then check the map to get a correct representation. Okay. Where am I going? Yeah, the map barely catches up with you. Oh, come on! Just... Come on! Oh. I'm really making a mess of this. Uh, really making a mess of this. Pause. I'm also running out of ammo because I keep manually reloading. Which is stupid. You shouldn't do it. I can't work out for the life of me where I'm supposed to be going. I know I had a checkpoint when I like got there last time. Seriously, this is embarrassing. Okay, back in the main area. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Well, that sure used up like six minutes of it. Fuck! Damn. What kind of you little shit! Little fucking shit! We need to find a way up. Um, this one? Right. I remember where that little asshole was. I'm gonna get him. We need more soldiers. Get him. So you can play a trick on me, huh? Huh? Think again. I'm far too strong. Devolve for your advances. Checkpoint. Woo! Thank the Lord. That sounded like a prayer. We're in. And I've got some ammunition. Which is a shit. I reloaded again. Just wasted the ammunition. Very clever. I'm still getting to grips with it. I didn't receive a manual. Okay? I didn't receive a manual with this game. I just got disc and box. Okay? So I didn't get a chance to go through controls and whatnot. I think I'm doing a pretty good job considering. I like that this guy's got white hair. Regroup, that's a direct order. Yes, sir. Roger. Thanks for waiting. The cell's gotta be above us. Okay, I'll just go press the door and switch for you. Ugh. Right. So what happened? Oh, not that one. Okay. Look is released. It's time for some enemies to show up. Yeah, you because know, that's what they do. I mean, I I know games like this by the back. Okay. This way. This elevator. Yeah? Super! <sighs> this level design is kind of predictable. Except for you know that bit I got lost in it. Oh, is this a secret? Rocket-fueled grenades. About time. Can I break these? No. Well, that's a victory. I thought I actually had to go this way. Obviously not. Wrong button. I'm trying to press the reload button. Press the elevator. Which is wrong. Um, okay, guys. I got a rocket launcher. Next boss. Uh, next boss, don't mess with me. If he knows what's good for, he knows what's good for him. Eh? He won't mess with me. I like how this is a stealth game, and I've been handling it mostly. Um, mostly guns blazing. 
I liked how you could do that with um, Metal Gear Solid 3. Like, how it was the first Metal Gear Solid you could really just go guns blazing in, and it really didn't matter. The only time you had to be super sleuthy was against the end. Although, if you did what I did, and that's pick up the sniper rifle early, you never had to worry about fighting the end. Because, you know, you could just kill him the first time you see him, and, you know. The only thing you had to worry about was his um, wheelchair wheel flying off and hitting you in the face. Which I thought was pretty funny, considering, um... Is this the way I gotta go? Remember the door that I opened had a lock by it. Um... Definitely haven't been around here before, I don't think. Well, they have very strange looking... Oh, I must have gone that way. What's that sound? Whoa! They were ready. Hey, boys! No fighting in the war room. Okay? Yay! So that other lock was a... Was an optional thing. For the gun. Okay. That's got wrong. Yeah. Well, guys. There's a time and a place for that. Everyone here. Maya. What's wrong with you? This way looks good. Understood. I'm not leaving without you. I've got Get in the elevator. She still didn't get in the elevator. She can just walk to me in the next cutscene. Forget it. Um, boss time? Whoa! I appear to have no shield. Retreating. Can I actually use that? Do, do I have to, like, change my equipment on the... Oh. I bought a bunch of things and I don't have them on my whoa item select. I'm down for the count. So who is it that's firing rockets? And can I feasibly get them from here? What is that sound? Whoa! What the hell happened there? That's not fair. My checkpoint is like a million miles away. It's like when I first got to that room with the elevator before I picked up the BFG. The RFG. Even. This isn't Doom. I can't type the letters S P I S O P D into into my keyboard and and suddenly have all the keys and ammo. Oh, it's pissed me. I'm getting all worked up now. And there's another guy in here actually. Yeah. Helps when you know what's coming up. Actually, this checkpoint isn't too far away. I mean, if I'm not interested in picking up the RFG, you know, it's not so bad. Right, back we go. Oh, what? Aw, oh, man. Oh yeah, switch on that wall. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I remember. Should I pick up the RFG again? Nah. Kinda don't need it really. Regroup, that's a direct order. Yes, sir. Roger. 
Thanks for waiting. The cell's gotta be above us. By the cell? Do you mean ambush? <laughs> I bet you mean ambush. Uh, energy pack. Um, everyone. I need you in assault mode. Keep your and I need and you to recon ahead of me. Understood. As soon as we get up this ladder, Understood. you need to be ready. Ladder? Understood. Elevator. Understood. You need to be ready. Where are they? Clear! Clear. Wait, isn't that the... Oh, all these doors open? Whoa, okay. Um. Oh, no fair. I'm really getting into this. Whoa! Mary and gentlemen. Uh, whoa, the guys with the rocket fueled grenades are up there. So yeah, my elevator will take me right there. Whoa! Take them out, take them out, take them out. Oh, this game's rated 15 plus, I can swear. Ah! Ah! I can't save mid-mission. Ah. Well, I've played 100 minutes of X-Squad. And I've dropped it on the floor. I'm just going to get up. Right! <laughs> I've played a hundred minutes of X Squad, which translates to the hundred pennies that I spent on it. My general opinion is, it's pretty decent. It's not a bad game by any shot. The controls are a bit awkward, but I really like the visual style. I like how, although I've been through what is effectively the same place through the whole game so far. I've rarely sort of gone anywhere else. Um, all the laboratories and things all seem to look different. And even though the environment is convoluted and, uh, and a bit messy, I like the fact that one of the characters acknowledged that, which I thought was pretty cool. I, I really like the weapon selection, although I think it's a bit weird that this early in the game you can get the rocket grenades already. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I'm going to call it a day for an episode now. But um, I will record the rest of the stage footage without my voiceover. And then I shall stick some of that on the end of this video. And if you want to see more of this game, just say. But I mean... Doing this charity case thing has made me actually play a game that I bought that would otherwise have sat on the shelf. And I feel better for playing it. I feel better for having had a chance to experience it. It's very early PlayStation 2, but even so, it still feels quite polished for a game of its era. So, kudos to it. I'm actually quite impressed with it. It was worth the pound I paid. This game was worth the pound I paid. I, l I didn't love every second of it. I'm not going to pretend that it was the best game I've ever played. Because, let's be frank, uh, this game sucks. But for a pound, it was fantastic. And it just shows... It goes to... It just goes to show that, once again, you can get great gaming experiences on the cheap... You don't have to go out and spend 60 quid on on your brand new uh, on your brand new rocksmith and you know plug in your your electric guitar and all that stuff. Not that I'm saying you don't buy rocksmith because it looks pretty cool. What I'm saying is you don't have to spend big amounts of money on games. There are so many great games that you can pick up from your local charity store or thrift store or whatever you guys call it. What is it? Goodwill. Um, whatever you guys call it. Pop into your local charity shop and have a look, see what they've got, because this is a great game, and I'm glad that it's one of the many games in this invisible fake charity case behind me that's actually just a green screen. So, yeah. X Squad was worth what I paid. That was really worth sitting through an hour and 40 minutes of gameplay footage. I'm terribly sorry. 
if you like this, I'll do it again for another game. And if, if you want to, like, you know, if you say you're interested in voting on games that you'd like me to play, then I'll set up a poll and uh, you can do that too out of all my charity shop games. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you did, congratulations, you've passed. Uh, the secret word is monkey. <laughs>